France's clash with England, the arrival of Europe's most expensive squads, Netherlands vs Spain, the whirlwind of Mozarka, on a mission of revenge against Bortad after the 2010 World Cup defeat, or Spain against England, clash of the future of world football. Will the Olympic Berlin Stadium, focal point of the German summer, witness a thrilling finale in this decisive encounter? The final stop of the Euro 2024 train will only have room for two teams to remain at Europe's biggest football festival. Join me, Bilibin Mai Tai, as we delve into the most captivating scenarios for the UEFA Euro 2024 final. France and England arrive in Germany with high expectations from their fans, as both teams boast star-studded and incredibly talented squads. According to Trafford Park, a website specializing in statistics, transfers, and player valuations, the teams from the Land of Fog and the Hexagon are the two most valuable squads, and the only two with a squad value exceeding £1 billion in this year's Euro. England, under manager Gareth Southgate, is the most balanced and expensive squad, with a value of £1.29 billion. Meanwhile, France is not far behind, with a valuation reaching £1.04 billion. If the Three Lions and the Gallic Roosters were to clash in the final, it would be a dream come true for fans to witness the top stars of European football on the same stage. Notably, all eyes will be on the potential clash between future teammates at Real Madrid next season. Gillian Bappe and Jude Bellingham, considered the jewels of their respective nation's football. Currently, both Bellingham and Bappe are among the best players in the world, fiercely competing for the title of the best and leading the list of the most valuable players at $195 million each. Additionally, France and England possess many other top-valued players, including Phil Foden, Harry Kane, and Declan Rice for the Three Lions, and the midfield duo of Eduardo Camavinga and Aurelien Chouameni for the Gallic Roosters. In a tournament where neither France nor England has been overly convincing, a potential showdown and moments of brilliance from the stars of the two most expensive teams would be a captivating spectacle. France versus the Netherlands final between France and the Netherlands would feel like destiny. During the grueling qualifying rounds for this Euro, France and the Netherlands were drawn in the same group, competing against supposedly weaker opponents, ultimately securing their tickets to the finals in Germany. At the Euro finals group stage draw, once again, fate brought the Netherlands and France together. They were drawn into Group D, along with Austria and Poland. After a long and challenging journey, they are now facing the prospect of meeting once again in the final match of Euro 2024. Fate may have brought them together, but there is also a score to settle between the Netherlands and France. In their three previous encounters, both in the qualifiers and the group stage, the team from the Hexagon has enjoyed victory twice and has yet to be defeated by the Oranja. France defeated the Netherlands with scores of 4-0 at home and 2-1 away to secure the top spot in the qualifier. Most recently, in the group stage of the Euro Finals, France and the Netherlands also met in the second leg and drew goalless. However, the draw in the group stage also showed how formidable and determined the Netherlands is against Didier Deschamps' men. The Orange even managed to find the back of the net against France with a goal from Xavi Simons, but it was disallowed by the referee for a controversial offside decision. Furthermore, fair to say that despite reaching the semifinals, France has not been overly impressive in this tournament. Perhaps the clash between France and the Netherlands in the final will bring a fitting end to the faded rivalry between these two teams. Netherlands versus Spain. If they can overcome Spain and reach the final, in addition to the exciting prospect of facing France again, the Netherlands could also exact revenge on Spain. The Aranya's debt to La Roja is a bitter one that dates back to the 2010 World Cup final. At that time, the biggest football event in the world was held in South Africa and witnessed a confrontation between two teams considered to have the most talented generation of players in their history. Both the Netherlands and Spain had gone through an impressive journey to meet in the final. The 90 minutes of regulation time ended goalless, and the match to determine the champion had to go to extra time. 
The biggest turning point of the match came in the 109th minute when John Haitinga of the Netherlands received a red card. Then, in the 116th minute, the numerical advantage, Spanish midfielder Andres Iniesta scored the only goal, bringing a narrow victory and the title of world champions to the team from the land of the bull. 14 years after that fateful encounter, the Dutch generation that played in the 2010 final is almost entirely gone. But with national pride, Odi Garbo and his teammates will certainly be determined to repay the debt the previous generation owed to the Spanish in the 2010 World Cup final. Currently, both Spain and the Netherlands have a generation full of promise. And who knows, if the scenario of this confrontation takes place in the final, it will be a milestone marking a new era, where the old debt will either be paid or will be added to the Netherlands. England versus Spain, the battle of the top stars, bright young talents, bouldering the mission, opening a new chapter for the sport. Both the Three Lions and La Roja come to this year's Euro possessing a squad full of promising future of football. At the same time, coaches Gareth Southgate and Luis De La Fuente are also showing great confidence in the young players in their hand. For England, the young star who is being trusted and given many opportunities in this tournament is 21-year-old talent Jude Bellingham. Up front, Phil Foden and Bukayo Saka are both born in the 2000s and are only 24 and 22 years old, respectively. In addition, Three Lions midfield is witnessing a 19-year-old star, but leaving a big mark, Kubi Maino. Meanwhile, with the Matadors, Spain is having key elements in the squad, bearing youth and great potential, cannot be underestimated. Notably among them are names like Nico Williams or Lamini Amal. Nico Williams was born in 2002 and is only 22 years old. Then the talent trained at La Masia, Lamini Amal was born in 2007, and is still only 16 years old. With both England and Spain, the new breeze from the young players at this year's Euro is showing relatively impressive performance and promising results. Imagine the Olympic Stadium in Berlin in the final match will be a fiery display of energy in the midfield battle between Declan Rice and Rodri, and an attacking feast where Foden, Saka, Bellingham of England face Williams, Lamine Yamal of Spain, creating highlights with breakthroughs at both ends of the pitch. That is a really worth waiting for scenario, where the players pioneering the new generation are expected to create a classic battle, deciding the throne at the most prestigious stadium in the old continent. With every possible scenario, the final day of this year's Euro is bringing too much excitement and anticipation. The spotlights of the old continent's football festival have all been revealed, and make fans imagine the most wonderful scenarios to end a month of eating and sleeping with football. A great decisive match in a memorable summer in Germany. And let's wait and see the final battle, where all eyes and lights from everywhere will be on Berlin. What blockbuster scenario will the Euro 2024 finale bring? Which two teams do you want to see in the final in Berlin? Comment below. For now, goodbye, and see you again.